Hi, I'm Janie Bishop. I am a residential real estate broker associate here in the Los Angeles area. And this video is covering the uh, real estate housing market statistics for sales that concluded in July. And so those would have gone in escrow, most of them, in June with the 30-day escrow to close in July. During June, when these would have gone under contract, the interest rate was pretty steady right around 7%. Now, of course, it has fallen a bit since then, but um, that's what the environment was at the time when we analyzed these statistics. All right, let's get into the numbers. In Los Angeles County, the median price increased 2.2% over June, June closings, um, and year to year is up 6.7 percent. Um, same time last year in July, prices fell almost 10 percent over June in Los Angeles County. So so this year was uh, held a little firmer. Median price also rose this year in Ventura County 0.8 percent, whereas last year the median price fell by a similar 0.8%, very small uh, amount. Median price is still up almost 7% from same time in Los Angeles County from same time last year, while Ventura County is up almost 6%. I also feel it's important to follow where the current prices stand in relation to the peak, which for both counties, Los Angeles and Ventura County, was September 2023. So in Los Angeles County, it's 0.7% off the peak, but in Ventura County, the median price is almost $10,000. In the San Fernando Valley, we currently have 2.9 months of inventory, which means we're still in the seller's market. It's a uh, we were a little bit over three months, and now we're a tick down. So, but pretty similar. It is generally considered that you need six months of inventory to be a balanced buyer-seller market, so clearly we're still in a seller's market. I like to keep an eye on macroeconomic figures because while industry pundits say in real estate it's primarily supply and demand, which, which is true, but the uh, world, national, and California economies um, have an impact also, so I think we need to keep an eye on them also. The current unemployment figures in Los Angeles County from the Employment Development Department, also known as the EDD, were that um, unemployment increased from 5.3%, these are seasonally adjusted, from 5.3 to 5.5 in Los Angeles County, June to July, which is over a year ago, it was 4.9, so unemployment is creeping up. In Ventura County, the unemployment figures increased from June's 4.5 to 5.3, um, which is an increase from last year's 4.3. So in our area, unemployment is going up. Um, one of the industries that I was a little bit surprised to see is the uh, uh, entertainment industry is has a bit of a lag from uh, some of the recent strikes. It just has not snapped back quite as quickly as they thought. I think they were anticipating another strike, so projects were not put into production, and so there's a little bit of a lag there. I thought you'd be interested to see the visual of the credit card delinquencies you will see it's up to uh, almost 8% now, but that is about, you'll look at the chart, is about the highest figure it's been in 30 years, which is really something. Last topic is the industry experts talking about what's called the lock-in effect. And what they're saying is that so many people um, have mortgage rates that are low and so, they're quote locked in because they're not going to sell and then if they're taking a loan 
um, buy something with a seven or even recently almost 8% rate. So the question is, will, I think there are enough ready, willing, and able buyers at the moment. The uh, hurdle, I believe, is the sellers and because they have the luck in effect. Well, and so it's the, the home prices are high, the rates are high, um, insurance costs in our area are high if you can get it. Um, we're helping a client and, you know, they're in a good price range, but um, they were thinking they were going to be required to go. Their only option was going to be the fair plan. They did end up being able to get another carrier, but it was pretty close. They weren't sure. So, um, so anyway, the many of the real estate uh, experts think that for sellers to really come out uh, off the sidelines, that rates are going to have to drop to five. I I think that if they go under six and and hold under six for a little bit, I like to say so that the the first digit in the rate is a five, even if it's not down to 5.0, I think will help sellers feel a little more comfortable. And, and that's what we really need, I think, to get the market moving a little bit more and for the economy to hold steady. <laughs> a lot of discussion about whether the recession is coming or not and a lot of opinions either way. So it is, it is not a sure thing. But if you would like to discuss the real estate market or have any questions or uh, would like information about the real estate market, I hope you'll reach out to me.